anyone in here? Then the presents must be alone and unprotected! You see, it's almost time for my annual gift swap with Ellie and Coach Rocco, but I just can't wait any longer to see what Ellie's gonna give me this year. That's why I've decided to take a little sneak peek, if you know what I mean. Jim Aroonies, if you want to see me get a special sneak preview of what I'm getting in the gift swap this year, give me a big thumbs up! Which present should I pick? Ooh, they all look so inviting. I think I'll take this one. Not so fast, Jimmy. I caught you. I'll take this. Yeah, Jimmy, you know the rules. You can't be snooping around the presents before gift swap. Wait a second. That's a rule? I can't snoop around the presents before the gift swap? Oh, I wish I had known that. Otherwise, I never would have done it. You and I both know that Jimmy doesn't like to break the rules. Nice try, Jimmy, but you say that excuse every year. You know the no snooping rule has always been around. Hmm, I'm sorry, you guys, but I just can't wait any longer. Do you think maybe we could just open one gift ahead of time? Come on, just one gift. Okay, Jimmy, just one gift for each person, all right? Awesome! This is going to be the best gift swap ever. Ooh, Ellie, open mine first. It's the biggest present. That's how you know it's the best one. Wow, that's so nice, Jimmy. I wonder what this is. <laughs> oh, wow, Jimmy, it's a life-size cutout of you. How cool. I know, best gift ever, right? Well, it's definitely unique. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm sure I'll find something. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome. Hey, I recognize this photo. It's from when I took those school photographs. Oh, yeah! How could I forget that day? <laughs> All right, on the count of three, say cheese. One, two, three. Cheese! Oh, I can't figure this thing out. Since when they put cameras in phones anyway? Here, let me help you. Oh, no wonder you have it in selfie mode. Okay, let me just turn it around. And there you go. That should do it. Oh, much better. Okay, say cheese. Cheese! Okay, that's a keeper. All right, who's next? Jimmy! All right, Jimmy, have a seat. And when you're ready, say cheese. Cheeseburger. <laughs> Jimmy, I said say cheese, not cheeseburger. Now have a seat. Jimmy, come on. Yeah, good luck with that, Coach. Jimmy hates having his photos taken. Remember last year's photos? Boy, do I ever. Now, Jimmy, I want to get a good photo this year. The sooner we get this done, the sooner you can go outside and play basketball. Ooh, that gives me a great idea. I can definitely get a good photo of Jimmy, Coach. Hey, Jimmy, can you teach me how to do that spin a Rooney thing you do? Is it dunk, spin, spin, or spin, dunk, spin, or what? You asked for it, you got it. One Jimmy special coming right up. The Jimmy Spin a Rooney. The crowd goes wild. They're cheering, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. OK, stay like that. Perfect. Wait a second, did you just take my picture? You tricked me. Yeah, but think about it this way. When you're a famous basketball player, they're gonna wanna take your photo for the basketball cards. And look at how good that photo is. Wow, I think that actually might be the best photo ever taken. You really captured the essence of the spinner room. <laughs> You know what? I think this is a really good picture of you, Jimmy. Yeah, everyone should have one of these babies. It's gonna be this season's hot new item. Oh, Coach Rocco. I got my gift for you. Here oh. you go. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I wonder what it could be. It's a new hat. And look, it's just my style. What do you think? Pretty sharp, huh? Uh -huh. Coach Rocco, that's a new microphone. Oh, I needed a new megaphone. Thank you. Yeah, I figured you might need a new one since Jimmy keeps breaking your old ones. What? When have I ever broken one of Coach Rocco's megaphones? I don't remember that ever happening. Well, I do. Spin a Rooney. Jimmy, now come on. It's time for your swim lesson. Now put that basketball down. Better yet, give it to me. Give it to you? Sure thing, Coach. Ah! Hey, Coach Rocco, you forgot your megaphone. Oh, great, you found it. Could you bring it down? I need it. Throw it down? 
No, I said bring it down. Okay, I'll throw it. Ah! Aww, look what you did. Oops. And now for the amazing Jimmy's greatest trick yet, I will be making that megaphone disappear. Zim Zalakaruni. He's using my megaphone, Ellie. Zim Zalakaruni. Ta-da! Whoa! It actually worked. I may actually be the greatest magician of all time. Wow, that's a cool trick, Jimmy. Yeah, now, now can you make it reappear? I, I need it for class. <laughs> reappear? Well, no, I haven't figured out how to do that part yet. Hi, Jimmy! Oh, time to make myself disappear. Oh. It's okay, Coach. I'll get you a new one. Okay, except maybe for that one time that I accidentally misplaced the megaphone. Well, anyway, now you got a spare one. And now that you two have opened your gifts, it's Jimmy's turn. Who wants to give Jimmy a present? Here, open this one from me. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Can't wait to see what this is. An orange coat shirt. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. Very stylish color. Yeah, I knew you'd like it. Remember that day he wanted to be coach so bad all day. Oh yeah, I remember that. Coach Jimmy. <laughs> I wonder where Coach Rocco is. He's running late. Wait a minute, how late is he? Mm, looks about two minutes, I think. Perfect. You know the rules. If Coach Rocco's two minutes late to class, that means that I get to be coach for the day. Awesome! Jimmy, I don't think that's a real rule. All right, everyone. Coach Jimmy's class is in session. And since I'm the coach, I say that today is basketball day. We'll be learning how to do the world famous Jimmy Spin Rooney from the master himself, me. <laughs> Jimmy, if you're going to be coach for the day, you should at least try and be a lot like Coach Rocco. Be more like Coach Rocco, you say? Hmm. You mean like this? Hey everyone, I'm Coach Rocco, and this is my gym class. Jimmy, stop playing basketball, it's time to clean the pool. Cleaning the pool is so cool. Whoops, I accidentally fell in the pool, splash. Ah, doggy paddle, doggy paddle. Ah, uh, someone pull me Jimmy? out. Ah, I'm the coach, I'm the coach, I'm the coach, I'm the coach. Hey Coach Rocco, I was just, uh, warming up the class for you. Well, looks like they're all warmed up. <laughs> you want your shirt back? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, my Coach Rocco impression was spot on. Yep, good times, good times, <laughs> Wayman. What's going on here? I figured if you could be Coach Rocco, I get to be Jimmy. Well, that sounds fair to me. What? <laughs> That's not fair. Come on, Coach Rocco, give us your best Jimmy. Look at me, I'm Jimmy, I'm the most awesomest boy in school! <laughs> hey, I sound nothing like that! Look at my special, special spin a movie! <laughs> <laughs> that is not how you do the spin rooney Look at me, I can do anything! Oh, I can't do that because I have a pebble in my shoe! <laughs> oh, I have a boo-boo! What's up, Sparkle Squad? I'm just walking home from school. You know, science class has been really fun lately. My teacher has been teaching us ways in which we can save the environment. Hmm. She even gave us an assignment so that we can save the environment from home. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, why are all these things running? Anyone in here? school that one sink uses up one gallon of water per minute. That's a lot of water wasted. Hey, is my water blaster full yet? Jimmy, were you running all these sinks so that you could fill your water blaster? No, no, I was also filling up my water balloons. Perfect. And I was washing my soccer ball. See? Good as new. Thanks, water. And besides, what are you worried about anyway? Haven't you ever looked at a map? Look at how big our oceans are. We got the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Santa Maria. Some of them are even bigger than entire countries. 
Well, sure, the oceans are huge, but not much of that water is actually drinkable. Only 1%. You know, people need to drink fresh water, not salt water, and that's what most of the water on the Earth is. Huh. I guess I didn't know that. I just knew that every time I turned the sink on, I could have as much water as I wanted, but if there's really only 1%, then I guess I gotta be more careful about how much water I use. How do you know all this science stuff anyway? In science class? The one you sit next to me in? In the science class where we have our Save the Environment homework assignment due tomorrow? Wait a minute. We have homework due tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. Uh-oh, gotta go. Oh, I completely forgot about my science homework. How am I gonna think of an idea that helps save the environment? Ooh, I've got an idea. I could do spin -a for charity. People could pledge money, and for every donator, I would do a famous Jimmy spin -a Yeah, we'll call it Save the Earth a with a little spin -a so that the Earth can keep spinning. a -rooney. I'll think of the name later. Yeah, that might work. Actually, now that I think about it, I pretty much did the same thing for my English project last year, and I got a D minus on it. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Hmm, maybe if I did something with my scooter or my bicycle. Bicycle, recyclables. Yeah, that's it. I'll come up with a new system that will revolutionize recycling. It could even save the earth. Oh boy, I'm gonna get an A plus on this for sure. And even better, I'll be rich. Hey, Jimmy, what you doing? Coach Rocco, just the person I wanted to see. I've been working on my science homework. Ellie and I have been learning about recycling all week in school, and I developed a foolproof new system that's gonna save the environment, maybe the whole world. I'm so proud of you and Ellie taking the initiative to save the environment. How does it work? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, hey, hey. Guys. Hey, Ellie, you're gonna wanna hear this too because soon it's gonna be everywhere. So I developed a three bag system. And before you ask, you can't just put all kinds of garbage into all kinds of bags. Every bag has a very specific use. For example, the blue bag here, you can only put blue garbage into it. So for example, this uh, blue marker. And in the red bag, you can only put red garbage, like this red party hat. And in the green bag, yep, you guessed it, only green garbage, like this line here. Any questions? Um, Jimmy, I don't think this is how we learned about recycling in class. Yeah, e Ellie's right. What if the garbage isn't one of these colors and it's purple like this balloon? I thought you might ask that. Well, stick around, fellas, because my plan has a solution for that problem too. If the color isn't one of these main three colors, you just have to do a little mix and matching. Like in the case of purple, blue and red combined make purple. So you just have to put half the balloon in one of the bins and half of the balloon in the other bins, like this. <laughs> See, half in there and half in there. Any more questions, doubters? Wow, it makes perfect sense. Ellie, you ready to recycle? Um, not exactly. You see, you don't have to match the colors of the recycling bins with the color of the garbage. You have to match the recycling bins to the type of garbage it is. So, the blue bin is for plastic. The red bin is for cans and glass. And then the green bin is for paper. So, you would actually put everything else that doesn't match up with those categories in your regular kitchen garbage bin. Oh. That makes sense. Because come to think about it, I wasn't really sure what to do with this cookie here. Hey, wait a minute. This is a perfectly good cookie. Why would I be throwing it out anyway? Well, did you find that one under your bed, Jimmy? It's only been there since Tuesday. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I got your favorite, sour cream and onion. Come here, kitty, kitty, here you go. Hey, Coach, what are you up to? Oh, I'm feeding the kitten that lives in our yard. The kitten? Look at how cute he is. Look at that white stripe down his back. Isn't he cute? Coach, be careful. That's a wild animal. And not just any wild animal, a skunk. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure this is a kitten. Oh, no, Coach, the best thing you can do for a wild animal is to leave it alone. It's not that we're being mean. It's that it might get sick on human food or we're taking it away from its home. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a kitten if he eats potato chips. Oh, gosh. 
precocious. Make sure you take a shower after, okay? What? Bye. Bye. Silly, silly Ellie. She doesn't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? Why aren't you eating your potato chips, huh? Huh? Ah! Oh! Oh! oh, stinky, naughty, stinky. Oh, yeah. No, she was right. She was right. Oh, yes, you are a skunk. Yes, you're a stinky skunk. Okay, you can go back out there. Go. Go frolic with all the other skunks. I hope there's no other skunks. Oh. Ellie, you were right. You were right. Get the tomato sauce again. Hey, Coach Rocco. Want to come to the mailbox with us? We're going to go see if those energy-efficient light bulbs you ordered already got here. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'll meet you there in my car. Hey, Coach Rocco. Why don't you go take a scooter or a bike? I mean, it'll be good for your health, and it'll also be good for the environment. Yeah, true. And the mailbox is just down the driveway. Uh, I don't know. I've never ridden a scooter before, and I... I watch you two scooting around and it looks dangerous. I'll just walk. No, 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 no. You can take my scooter and my helmet. And Jimmy here can teach you how to ride it. It's super easy. And trust me, it's a much better choice than taking the car. All right, Coach Rocco, Jimmy's scooter school is in session. Step number one to riding a scooter. First, you gotta plant one foot on top of the scooter. Then you gotta plant the other one on the ground, and when you're ready, give yourself a little boost and push. You got this, Coach Rocco! Oh, oh, oh look! <laughs> you're doing it, Coach! I'm scooting! <laughs> <laughs> Well done, you guys! Yeah, nice job, Coach Rocco. <laughs> See, Coach Rocco, just because you didn't choose your car, you've already taken one step towards a cleaner Earth. Our Terra Science project is complete. We're getting really, really good at saving the environment. I'll say, yeehaw! How about a race? <laughs> Coach Rocco, don't go so fast. Yeah, and you're going the wrong way. Coach Rocco, watch out for that. Oh, yikes. That one hurt. <laughs> that ought to do it. What's up, Sparkle Squad? Guess what? I just got finished digging a hole for my latest adventure, a time capsule. So I have this treasure chest that I filled with all sorts of my favorite belongings. And now I'm just going to bury it for someone in the future to find. Here we go. Just one last step. There we go. Good luck, Time Capsule. I'll see you again, hopefully, way in the future. Hey there, Coach. What you doing? I'm picking up your mess. It looks like you didn't do your chores this morning. Well, technically, it's still 11.59, Coach, and you know what that means. It's still technically morning, so I still got time to do my chores. Well, get to it and see what that thing is there. I nearly broke my neck tripping over that. Huh. Well, what is it? I'm not sure. I've never seen this before, and I'm pretty old, you know. Hey, guys. What are you looking at? Ellie, can you tell us what this is? Oh, I think I know what that is. It's my old time capsule from when I was younger. I buried this long ago for people like us in the future to look back on old memories. Oh, that sounds scary to me. Yeah, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Let's get out of here. No, it's not scary at all. It's fun to look back on our old memories when we were much younger. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you remember this party happened when you two threw me a birthday party years ago? How long ago was that? I can't remember that. <laughs> wow, Ellie, these cookies are delicious. Yeah, you gotta bring these to my birthday. Thanks, you guys. Consider it done. Hey, let's play charades. I wanna play animal charades. I'm gonna pick an animal and you gotta guess what it is. Oh, well, it just so happens that my favorite place in the whole world is the zoo. So I'm kind of what you would call an animal expert. <laughs> awesome! Let's get started. One, two, three. But she's carrying something. Who carries something? 
I got it. You're a school bus. A school bus? No. Okay, so I'm not supposed to give hints in the game of charades, but I'll do it this first time. It's animal charades. So think about animals. Boing. Boing. She's bouncing. Boing. She's bouncing Boing. up and down. You're Boing. a basketball. Boing. No, silly. It's an animal. She's bouncing. She's ba It's a whale. It's a whale. Come on, you guys. Focus here. So, this animal hops. It lives in Australia, and it carries its young in its pouch. I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm no good at this charades. I'm better at sports. Guys, it's a kangaroo. <laughs> I thought you guys would get that. A kangaroo? That doesn't look anything like a kangaroo. You should have been more like this. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. No, 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 that's not how it does. Here, hold this. I'll show you what a kangaroo does. It jumps. Tasty that cookie was. Oh yes, with all those chocolate chips, nothing in the middle. Okay, fellas, let's move on with the time capsule. Oh, there's still plenty of memories in here, like this one. It's a laser gun from the future. No, oh, no, it's a, an ice cream scooper. No, it's a pizza cutter. I don't remember that. I do. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Special delivery! Fresh hot pizza coming right up! Ah, oh, perfect timing. I'm starving after a full day of summer activities. What are we doing? I think he's playing basketball. Good idea, because this one's got all his favorite toppings. Does it smell delicious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My delicious pizza! It's ruined! Hey! You found my basketball. So, what's for lunch? And voila! Since clumsy old Coach Rocco dropped the pizza in the pool, Chef Jimmy is here to save the day with my very special lunch a Spectacular! What's a better poolside treat than some hot dogs? I'll show you my super secret recipe. First, you put on the condiments. Let's start with some mustard. Mmm, smells good already. Next up, potato chips. These babies really hit the spot. Mmm, and now for my personal favorite condiment, spaghetti. What hot dog is complete without a little spaghetti garnishing the top? And just one final very special ingredient left, hot sauce. To give it a little zest, you know, a little zing. <laughs> I love hot sauce. Just a touch. Oh, no! Oh, oops. Well, I'll be better with this one. Come on, Chef. A little... Oh! Yikes! Ugh. Well, I hope they don't mind their hot dogs a little, uh, spicy. Oh, Ellie! Coach Rocco! Lunch is ready! Ta-da! Chef Jimmy's world-famous lunch rooney special is complete. Awesome! I'm starving. Is that hot sauce I'm smelling? Exactly how much hot sauce did you put in there, Jimmy? Ooh, <laughs> I love hot sauce. Good choice. I love spicy food. Bone apple teeth. I don't know what that means, but it's something I always hear chefs say. All right, dig in, Ellie. Uh, you know what, Coach? I'm going to watch you enjoy yours first. Oh, well, okay. More for me, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you okay, Coach? <laughs> Jimmy Water? Jimmy, how much hot sauce did you put in this? A little here, a little there, a little here and there. <laughs> so I just gotta tell you something. <laughs> Cheeks as a flotation device. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. 
Ooh. Ooh. The water tastes like pizza. You got any food in that uh, box of there, yours? No, Rocco. There's no 50-year-old food in the time capsule. But there is this pretty rock. Remember when we found this one by the creek? How could I forget that day? That was the day we saw the, the monster, monster frog. frog. Oh, please don't tell the story about the monster frog. Thanks for helping me pick up trash coats. Oh, you're welcome. I think it's great that you're working hard to clean up the environment, and we don't want litter in the water now. Yeah, especially since there are animals in there. You know, frog skin is so sensitive to chemicals that any garbage that's in the water could be poison to the little guys. Poor little green guys. You know, I've always been a little bit scared of those frogs, but they still deserve to live garbage free. I agree. Hey, look at this cool rock I found. <laughs> Whoa, no way! Hey guys, you gotta come see this! What's up, Jimmy? I just saw the biggest frog in the whole world. It looked like a monster frog almost. Monster frog? Oh, I don't like the sound of this. I gotta get a picture of it so I can show the whole science class. Hey, is that him? There he is. Wait a second, where'd he go? Come on back, I need to get your picture. Here, froggy. Here, frogger. <laughs> hey kids, uh, I'm all for saving the planet and critters of the green variety, but monster frog, that's a little too slimy for my taste. <laughs> you feel me? Coach Rocco, <laughs> just stay right where you are. Don't move. Jimmy, get your phone. All right, just stay there. I'm Wait. gonna be famous. Don't tell me. The frog is on me? Don't be scared. It's perfectly harmless. It's probably more scared of you than you are of it. Say cheese. Stay calm. Stay calm. Yes. Oh, Draco, you clinch. It's just a little green guy. Ruin my picture. <laughs> wow, that frog was huge. I wonder whatever happened to him. He probably just jumped right back in the nice clean water and lived a long, happy life. Yeah, that was so long ago. See, that's why the time capsule is so great, so we can look back on all our memories. What other little goodies do you have in there? Oh no, not again. Go truck, go stay right there. No. Don't move. Don't tell me, don't tell me it's him again. Oh. Uh, monster frog! Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon!